Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jason and today I want to talk to you guys about one of the most simple racks out there right now. This is the Kuat Ibex. I believe it is one of the most simple bed racks out there, easiest to set up. And not only that, it can be expanded to one of the most complex and accessory rich racks that you can find out there. I have it on one of the most basic settings right now. This is the full height. It can also be down to mid height, which I did run for a little bit. Now I do have a rooftop tent that runs up here. I had that on the full height as well as the uh, mid height that they have, although it is the lower of the two settings. But right now I just stripped it off. So this is kind of the bare rack right here. No molly panels nothing mounted to it this is just the bare bones because i want to show it in kind of its most basic form there's not a ton of videos out there on the kuat ibex as of the time of filming this which is a little bit confusing to me because this was one of the most interesting new developments in the overlanding community and it's a trusted brand that's made bike racks and accessories for many years all right so like i said this is the kuat ibex so this is a brand that does like bike racks stuff like that and they ventured into the bed rack system here now this is from spirit of 1876 so shout out to mike over at spirit of 1876 for letting me borrow this for a few months here and testing it out so this is on a full-size tundra the body lines look really nice now i love the way the body lines look on this probably one of my favorite features of this roof rack so unlike some other ones it is very kind of sleek and smooth and fits the profile of most trucks pretty well. I've seen on Tacomas, the new Tundra, they look even better than this. You know, with this weird little thing that my Tundra does on the double cab, you know, it even with that still looks pretty nice on there. So I had it in the lower setting at first when I was running a rooftop tent up there because I wanted to test that out. And then after I ran that rooftop tent, I wanted to go ahead and try it with the next rooftop tent in the full setting. I think personally, I like the look of the full height one a little bit better. It just really fits the lines a lot better. So this does have two crossbars here and this bed rack does have a uh, still weight of 1200 pounds, easily a rooftop tent, you know, two people, a bunch of other stuff on it, no problems there. So it's dynamic weight rating is 300 pounds. So again, easily gonna be able to carry a rooftop tent, you know, some heavy stuff, even with the molly panels and something that's coming in the future, the enclosure, which I will talk a little bit about later. And that's probably the coolest thing in the future. It will have some panels that will go here and basically will turn this into a topper of some sort. Now I have seen some video from it. It looks really cool and I would love to try that out. However, at the time of filming right now, it is January of 2024 and this will not be out until I believe September Q3, something like that. Uh, the panels are not here yet. You can get the Molly panel that goes here that is already out. That will be available for the full height and the mid height as well. It won't fit both. It will be specific to whatever height you set it at. So with this crossbar here, you can get some crossbar risers. If you have the five and a half foot bed um, or just a five foot bed or where it's shorter than your rooftop tent, I have the six and a half foot bed, so I don't necessarily need the risers in order for it to fit back here. But if you have a short bed and you want it to go over your cab a little bit, you could also add the uh, crossbar risers there and that way you would have a nice tall space to put a rooftop tent or if you want to put bikes up there anything like that you need some space a little bit extra you can get those crossbar risers this is probably one of the most accessory heavy roof racks that i've seen so far and you can have it as basic as this which is what i've been running here for a couple days just a simple little roof rack or you can basically build this out completely into a topper or 
I think my favorite way is the rack with the molly panels on the side. So you get those little molly panels and then on the side you'll be able to mount, you know, max tracks, roto packs, really anything you can think of within a reasonable amount of the weight. You could mount whatever you wanted on the side here, then have your rooftop tent and awning, whatever you wanted up there. And that would be very easy to do with just one extra purchase. So this is one of the easiest install racks. Everything you need to do on here can essentially be done with Allen keys. If you have the bed rails like I do, it is a really super simple install here. So if you do the full height version like I have, you will have this extra little centerpiece right here that will come with it. If you don't, all you have to do is just not install that. I had it in both positions. Switching it was really easy. The only thing I would recommend when you switch from the low height to the full height is uh, loosen these back up so that you can um, expand it because obviously the geometry changes when you have it lower or higher. So um, loosen these up so they can expand. And basically all you're gonna do there is, you know, loosen these tracks up right here and it will either expand or contract. And um, then you can fit it on the rack a little bit easier. So this is the top here. And I have used a couple different mounts on here. You can see that I was running two different tents on here. Now, because of the mounts that I use, I did scrape it up a little bit. It's not a big issue. You know, it's not going to mess up the integrity of it. It's not gonna make it rust or anything like that. It is just gonna be aesthetic, but just be aware of that. Like I said, there wasn't much information when I first got this. So I was trying any and all different kinds of mounts to fit things on here and uh, scraped it up just a little bit, but no big issues. It does have a T-track going the entirety of the crossbars as well as up on the top. Now, all you're gonna do is have that drop in right here or right here or even here on the side and you could mount you know more crossbars you could mount a rooftop tent you know anything you want to mount up here as long as you can fit it on a t-nut you'll be able to put it on this track now the only downside i can say to this so far is that this crossbar is a little bit wider than most crossbars out there so if you are going to use this and you want to mount your tent it's likely that it'll fit if you have like an eye camper or one of the bigger brands. However, I'm using a kind of a Chinese brand right now. So the mounting system was really weird on it. So I ended up having to go to Spirit of 1876 to get a mount that fit there. And you can reach out to Mike if you do get this rack. He has this rack, you can pick it up. And if you have a weird mounting system like I did, I'm sure he can help you figure that out. So if you remove two bolts on the back side here, you can remove this piece right here. And that way we can see a little bit better what's going on here with the mounting. So in order to raise and lower this, all you're going to do is remove these two bolts down here. And if you take those out on all four corners, then you can remove this centerpiece. You can remove that centerpiece right there and make it a mid height or the lowest setting of this. It's really easy and um, all you have to do is unbolt that and then unbolt these two bolts right here. Then when you're done, you just bolt that little piece that we had down here. You bolt that back in up here and you're good to go. So you can see now that we have bolted everything up, there are no bolts on this outside here. So it is gonna follow the smooth lines of the truck. You know, whether your truck is, you know, kind of boxy like this outside here or more rounded, this is really gonna fit the aesthetics of your truck you know no exposed bolts on this side obviously there will be bolts on this side so if you care about the aesthetics of not having bolts on the outside you will have them obviously on the inside here from the outside it's just going to look like one smooth kind of all together piece there so as far as the install on here i will put here on the screen if you are looking for it I will put the install right here. This is from Kuat. I don't think I could make a better video than that. So I will drop here on the screen. I'll put a little thing that you can scan. Or if you look down in the description, I will try to drop that video. This install is super easy. There's only these two panels here, these two panels. If you do the full height, these four here and the crossbars, it's really super easy. It might take you an hour total. I would recommend someone helping you. Now, the thing I really do love about Kuat is, you know, I 
have been riding bikes for years. I've always known about this brand, but they really weren't in the overlanding community. But they came out swinging with this thing. You've got mounting here on these sides. You can put a handle up there. You've got mounting on this sides right here where you could mount your bike off to the side, which is really cool. I do like the idea of mounting here in the side rather than on the tailgate. You've got mounting up top there, mounting underneath the crossbar, mounting on top of the crossbar, and then mounting up here on the top as well. It's just a very versatile rack, and there are so many different accessories for this. One of them that I really wish I had gotten was the, uh, the grab handle here, because now that my truck is lifted and pretty tall here, it is a little bit tough to get into the bed when this is down. So it would have been nice to have a handle here. Um, the next one would obviously be the Molly panel, and that would have been really cool. And uh, I didn't end up getting that, but it looks really cool. And there's tons of stuff you could mount over here. So I was even thinking that with the Molly panel, if you had your rooftop tent up on top, or you know, even just a regular tent down there, and you had that Molly panel, you could essentially put a diesel heater on there and run it up into your tent. And that way you could just travel with it. It could be, you know, fully ready to go when you get to camp and you could just run things off of it. I thought that was really cool. If I was gonna do the Molly panel and keep this forever, I would 100% do that because it just seems like it's way too easy. And if you got a small enough one, like my little two kilowatt one, you could even do that on the, uh, the mid height rack and still be able to run some heat up in your tent if you're winter camping or just camping in cooler weather. So like I said, guys, this is the Kuat Ibex. You know, you can either do the full height like this, or if you don't add this part right here, you can make it mid height. You can add on Molly panels on there. You can add on the panels in the future that will fully enclose this into a topper. You can mount a rooftop tin on top. You can leave it naked like this and it looks really, really good. So this is, like I said, one of the most versatile ones. I just hadn't seen a lot of information out there. You know, there are a couple videos from Kuwait out there, but I'm not being paid to talk about this in a positive way. And I'll tell you right now, I like this a lot. The only downside I've seen to it is that the crossbars are a little bit wider. Probably most tents that are bigger brands are gonna fit up on this roof rack. Um, just the one that I got was a little bit, bit of a weird mounting system. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me below. I will answer them, or I will try to put you in contact with someone who will be able to answer it. That being said, guys, I do appreciate you guys checking out the video. Please join the Patreon if you like this content. Subscribe below if you like the content as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.